welcome to my channel. My name is Kate. I'm very happy to see you here. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. In this video, I'm gonna be attempting to make an adjustable jumpsuit. So I don't have any pattern for it or any specific plan, so we are gonna just go with it. I have this uh, bed sheet that I'm planning to use for this project. If I like it, I might make it from the nicer fabric. But this is like a 100% cotton bedsheet and it's nice, this kind of navy, darker navy color, which I really like. And I'm hoping that this is gonna be nice and breathable because I just started dance classes and if this goes well, I might wear it to my dance class uh, and I'm not gonna be so hot in it. So. <laughs> I'm hoping that uh, this is not going to be very hot jumpsuit and also it's going to be very comfortable so I'll be able to move in it. So despite of me not having a plan, I do have some drawings, yay me. And I've been seeing a lot of TikToks recently with these very pretty dresses with huge bows on top. So it's like a strap but it ends up with this very big bow. And I kind of want to make that, so my jumpsuit hopefully will end with these very long straps that I'm going to tie in these big bows. So do appreciate my like level of artwork here. <laughs> so this is my first drawing. And I initially thought that maybe I will make it like a little bit lower than the knee length, this weird length. Uh, but now I'm thinking that I'm going to make it like a normal ankle length-ish. And then I was thinking if I want to make it adjustable and I think I have a plan for this <laughs> and you're gonna be amazed by this so I'm gonna make like a front panel with two straps tying on the back and then the back panel is gonna go to the front and then I'm gonna have a, like a bow on the front this is how my drawing looks like if you don't understand then no worries I don't understand it either <laughs> so but this is like a plan I also don't have like a pattern for this but I'm gonna try uh, to use my previous pattern for my pants and that's pretty much it oh and one more thing is that I'm uh, planning to paint it after I make it and that's partially the reason why I'm using the bed sheet for this because um, maybe it doesn't go so well and then I'll have to remake it but hopefully not. Uh, but I was watching um, TikTok again, was showing me uh, this new series. It's, I think, based on the series Sex in the City. At least the characters are all the same. It's called and Just Like That. And Carrie there was wearing this very cool coat. I didn't watch the episode, but I saw it in TikTok that she was wearing this very cool navy um, coat and it was all covered in paint splashes which i think looks very cool it kind of gives you an impression of like is she really dirty or if you know what i mean or is it just designed like that so i want that i want that kind of look <laughs> so people would kind of question if i'm dirty or not uh, but yeah that's the plan So I'm planning to use uh, my pant block pattern pieces for this project. I will link a little video in the description box. It's very good video how to make your own pant block and uh, it's very good explanation. These fit pretty good, but I'm gonna make them wider. I'm not gonna make a new pattern for this. Uh, I'm planning just to cut straight from the fabric. And then I'm gonna use this little shirt that fits me pretty well. It though uh, from the stretchy material, so I'm just using this as a guide to understand how the front is gonna look like. But I'm planning kind of to cut it and then pin it to myself and then adjust it a bit later. So I put some <laughs> random objects uh, here, but how, how cute are these? I'm also gonna add some space also here, make the crotches maybe a little bit lower so it's a bit more comfortable to wear because these fit very well and that's it i'm gonna draw now and then start cutting So 
so all my pieces are drawn now and it's time to cut the fabric after i cut the fabric i plan to see how it looks on myself and plan a little bit and then um i'm gonna sew it together tomorrow i also plan to do these long straps i might also cut that today so we save, save a little bit time for tomorrow So I attached the pieces that I cut together with some pins. This is how it looks like. So um, I'm gonna sew along these lines here and then the back. And then I'm also gonna attach these pens together here. I'm not gonna attach these parts. And I'm gonna attach some strings. So this front panel, it ties on the back then the back panel goes and ties on the front this bit uh, is a bit too long now so i folded it i think i'm gonna cut it approximately here but otherwise i think this looks pretty good we still ne need some adjustments but uh, i think i'm ready to sew it now It's the next day and I'm ready to continue with my jumpsuit. I'm gonna start sewing it together. I'm gonna sew front uh, part together and the back part together and I'm also gonna sew the legs together up until the kind of hip point and then I'm gonna try it on again and figure out the <laughs> kind of rest of it situation. Um, and I'm hoping kind of to finish this project today but let's see how it goes. So I've done sewing all the parts that I told you I'm gonna do. Uh, so I sew on the front and the back and also legs together up until approximately like this point. And I'm gonna try this on now with some pinning <laughs> just so you see how it looks like. So I pinned the front to myself, <laughs> don't do this, but uh, I pinned this part to myself and I attached these little straps to the front part. So the front part is going to tie on the back. I'm going to show you. <laughs> and now the back part is going to go up and around me. I'm also going to show you. So this is um, also going to have some straps on the sides. This is how it looks from the back. And I'm going to attach the straps here and here and then tie it around myself on the front. Uh, so now I think the plan is to make a lot of straps <laughs> and start attaching them. Let's sew some straps. For the little straps, I'm I folded just these two pieces of fabric. I'm gonna sew them on one side and then turn them upside down. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with them except for this because I just need this to be functional because they are gonna be on the front and then tie on the back. No one's gonna see this. Uh, and then I'm gonna move on to all other straps. I'm gonna do them in the same way. So I'm gonna cut the piece of fabric and then sew it on one side, turn it upside, uh, inside out, <laughs> not upside down. And then um, see if I'm gonna add some stitches because other straps are gonna be visible, so I need them to look nice. So I sew on all the straps and cut them and they look like this little tube now and I started 
ironing them. I don't have an iron, but I have this steamer and it kind of works as an iron. Um, and I'm planning to kind of make them flatter or like flat like this. And then I'm gonna, I'm not gonna touch these little ones for the front piece, but I'm gonna add some stitching to the bigger straps. Hi, it's a couple of days later and I'm back with my jumpsuit. <laughs> Um, last time I was working on my straps and it actually took me quite a bit of time. I wasn't expecting that because it's just straps, but it's actually so many. It's like two on the front, two on the back, two on the belt and two little ones. So <laughs> it's like a lot of straps. Uh, so it took me quite a long time and I got tired at the end. So I decided not to continue that day. But uh, today's plan is to at least finish all the structural pieces. So attach the straps to the front, to the back, finish the back because the back is not finished yet. And then let's see if we get further today, <laughs> but uh, maybe not, but at least we need to finish the structural pieces. So, uh, this is my uh, jumpsuit on and I haven't attached these straps yet and I haven't finished the back side. Um, so, this is my favorite way of tying it at the moment, but you can get very creative with it and then tie it with the multiple ways. Um, we are going to explore them at the end. But I like this bow on the back and these giant bows uh, on my shoulders, but you of course can <laughs> do different things with it. Uh, so my plan is to attach these straps. Also I need to finish this edge because now it's just the raw edge. Then there is a question, I'm going to stand on the chair, uh, what to do with this leg kind of thingy we can just leave it like this um, this is gonna be folded maybe this looks nice but and then iron this to some sort of shape on both sides but we can also figure maybe something out and this is these are my super wide legs <laughs> um, yeah so the plan is to work on the straps and then finish the back side. This is also not so yet and just pinned together. I'm back in my dress and I disconnected my straps. So these are the straps from the like, shoulders. I should have attached the front straps first, but I actually am kind of proud of how the front turned out <laughs> because it's very kind of neat line. Um, pretty straight which is great for me and then I need to work on the back as well So I finished assembling my jumpsuit, it's all sewn now <laughs> uh, and I walked the dogs and then returned from the walk uh, and now I'm planning to do some painting but I'm not gonna paint the jumpsuit yet, I'm gonna try to use this scrub pieces, um, cut a little bit like 10 maybe and then paint them and see how this fabric behaves with the paint and see if I like any designs and if I do then I'm gonna put them on a jumpsuit but for now I'm just gonna do this I have this giant box of, of paints um, it's 
all fabric paints and the concept is um, to do this splashes of color <laughs> like little dots and the stuff like that um, and see how far we'll go and there on the back uh, doggos are playing do you see that little corgi there <laughs> we are sitting with him um, because uh, his parents are in um, in Spain, I guess. So we are sitting with him, and my little dog always plays with him. So and he produces a lot of noise, despite being very small, because um, he's protecting our house. Here I'm starting my experiments, and I'm using this very old <laughs> spray paint for the fabric, and it's not working properly. The main idea for this was to be kind of bold and experiment as much as possible with different techniques, textures and colors to kind of try it out and see how it looks. At the moment of painting this I didn't really like anything and it seemed to me all kind of boring and ugly but looking at it next day I think um, they were kind of good ideas and uh, for example I ended up using this little white flowers that I'm painting here I think this these look very cool Here I'm starting to paint my jumpsuit and I tried a couple more ideas, for example this ram that you see there is a little piece, <laughs> um, but I ended up going with these flowers and first I started painting just the basic white flowers and then adding the colors. Initially I didn't know if I'm gonna paint both legs or just one, but ended up painting both and I think I really like the result. Painting um, fabric is quite easy, you just need a special acrylic paint for fabric. Don't forget to kind of separate your layers with something, otherwise the paint will transfer and leave these marks on the layer of fabric that's underneath. After you've done painting, just let it dry and then you can iron it using the baking paper so put the baking paper on top of your paint and then iron it and it works pretty well you don't um, wash it in very harsh washing settings but otherwise it's gonna stay pretty vibrant here i'm doing some color splotches using my brush so it looks like someone painted this <laughs> because this was the idea to see like little splotches of color and all the brush strokes. Hi there, guess what? I've done all the painting yesterday, so my jumpsuit is all ready and I'm gonna show you how it looks now. Ta-da! So this is uh, my jumpsuit. And this is how I originally envisioned it. So it has this little bow on the back and this big straps tied in the bows. I think this turned out really good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this turn out this good. And I really like my uh, paintings. It says just don't here on the knee. I can stand for you on the chair so you can see the <laughs> full length. So this is how it looks like and this is from the back. I think this is very cool and the coolest thing about this is that you can tie it around however you want. It also is very adjustable so if I grow a couple sizes or shrink for some reason <laughs> then I would be able to adjust it and it fits very good. You can do this. <laughs> So um, it's super nice. Um, I really like how it fits. I also have these like paint splashes here. 
and the designs but I'm gonna show you now how it looks like with different options how you can tie the straps differently Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really liked making this jumpsuit. If you are new here and haven't subscribed to my channel, I do all sorts of creative projects here. So please do subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Stay inspired and see you soon.